Well, maybe they should call it the eight-year itch. Among first marriages that end in divorce, eight years is the average timing of the breakup. That's according to the U.S. Census Bureau. And you know, statistics also show that one in three, get this, one in three married couples will never even make it to their 10th anniversary. That's why we are devoting this morning's Know Your Man segment to strengthening your marriage. We're talking with Dr. Elizabeth Bonet, a psychologist with a specialty in marriage and family therapy, and she's got some pointers on how to recognize trouble in paradise and what you can do about about it. Elizabeth, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, let me ask you a question. What are some of the things when a marriage is starting out, or are there some, mm -hmm. some things that you can look at that will tell you whether or not a marriage has a better chance of surviving than, than those that don't? When a couple comes into my office, I'm looking about whether they can resolve an argument. So many times I see they're there because they can't resolve an argument, so it takes some coaching about, all right, what is the process where you can argue better? Mm. So it's the couples who know how to resolve that conflict, how to get to the end of the argument, how to reach agreement about something that have our, a stronger marriage ultimately. So how about if you're content in your marriage mm -hmm. but you're not sure that your spouse is content in your marriage, mm -hmm. what should you be looking for in terms of warning signs? Well there's some concrete things you can look for. Part of that is you know partners who's feeling more disconnected, who's not coming home as much, who's working later, someone who's always staying late at the office, that's a big warning sign. Someone who's um, eye rolling all the time when you're talking to them. Ooh, you know. that <laughs> Well, that sounds like it hit a little too close to home. That hits close to home. I'm sure. Does that happen in your household as well? Well, you know, we have our, whether it's an eye rolling or a sigh, whatever All it right, is. All right, so, so let's do a little bit of role play here, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm your wife. You're going to say something annoying, and I'm going to show you how she probably reacts. Wait, well, okay, I, I'll let, tell let you one thing. Let me channel her. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She has a habit of letting her clothes stack up on a chair in the bedroom. And the problem is? <laughs> There's not a problem. I okay. just, I'll ask, are we going for a record this time to see how high that pile can get? I think it's a logical question. <laughs> and that's pretty much what she looks like. And then my next exactly. one would be, oh, no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably not the way he should handle a situation like that. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a moment to step back, take a breath, and say, all right, let me speak to my partner respectfully, and then they respond more respectfully as well. It does take work. Well, why is it that typically you know, it seems like it's the guy who mm -hmm. misses it. And let's face it, we are oblivious. We miss a sometimes, lot. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Yeah, it is true. But yes. it's not always the guy, is it? I mean, and especially no, when it comes to things like counseling, yeah. um, sometimes it's the husband, sometimes it's the wife that's mm -hmm. opposed mm -hmm. to it. Yes. I happen to be an advocate for counseling. I think it's a, it can be a good thing. Mm -hmm. But who would you recommend would be good for counseling? And, and what really, what good can come from it for those people that don't believe in it? Well, for someone who doesn't believe in it, I, you know, I just ask them, how important is your marriage to you? Mm. Like, period. How important is your partner to you? How important are their feelings to you? You know, I always say you come in earlier rather than later. So that is difficult for a lot of people. Like, no, we're not doing that badly. We argue sometimes. It's like, no, just like a car, you get the oil changes, you get the tire done. You don't want to wait until there's fire and smoke pouring out the hood before you go in. <laughs> no, <laughs> it makes know? sense. No, it does. Yeah. I mean, let's just face it. We think differently. I mean, it's, Many yes. women think differently. Uh, it's, Absolutely. It's, I'm amazed sometimes at the differences. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of differences there. And, and you know, mm -hmm. the other thing that I always think about is, is that, okay, let's just say things aren't going well and you feel like your marriage is going sour and, mm -hmm. and, and it may ultimately end up in divorce, but can you turn things around? And by that I mean, are there some little maybe everyday things that you can do absolutely. that can end up making a big difference in saving mm -hmm. your marriage? Yes, absolutely. More sex is one of them. Okay, so. I'm listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I figured you'd like sit up and pay attention at that. Okay, yes. can you say that one more right. time, I'm more sorry. sex. <laughs> and I just tuned out. No, I'm joking. Right. You know, which is a sign too. If like you're not, if you stopped having sex, that's a big red flag. I know, but you know what? Here's the thing. Let's just say, and we talked about if your marriage is not going well, and there's some things that you want to do yes. on a daily basis. For me, it may be, oh, sweetie, you know, your day was not so and good. For me, so good that and means... I want to give you a hug. <laughs> Men tend to interpret that as wanting to have sex where well, we yes. just want to be affectionate. You Absolutely. know what I mean? And that can also right. cause some friction too. <sighs> There's a what problem. Are you breathing, dude? <laughs> That was breathing. my eye roll. I'm I mean, sorry. Okay. Yes. I mean, there are things you can do. And one, one thing to think about is treat your partner as if you were like you did when you were dating. Oh, that's true. So yeah. it's like pay attention to them, listen to them. You know, there's some research about um, women are much happier in marriages if they get 30 minutes of conversation a day from a man, from their husband. And if a husband can think of it as let me keep her happy so that I'm happier and everybody's happier and the kids are happier and we all get along better, then they're more willing to reach that goal. You know, let me call 
call her and see what's going on, just check in on her day, and vice versa. Let mm -hmm. me call him and see what's going on. You know, and then small things like rubbing the back, rubbing the feet. Sure. Well, Is there something I can help you with? Are recognizing you Recognizing what the other individual's, you know, love language or what it is that they, they like. Why is it always so easy when you're dating? And then when you get married, because you don't have that commitment, and then when you get married, it just feels like you have mm -hmm. a bigger commitment because then you have children, and then you have a mortgage, right? Yeah. And then you have, have all these yes. responsibilities that right. you didn't have yes. when when you were dating. Yeah. And and don't you think very quickly that it is it is important to be friends too? Because sometimes I think we tend to lose that once you start having kids and you once you get parents. settled, yes, you become it's important parents. to make the time to do that. It really is, and you hear that over and over and over. And sometimes that just means like focusing on your partner. Partner. So you really have to get down to, all right, how do we work together as a team? What do I do for them that makes them happier? What do they do for me that makes them ha us happier? And, you know, all those needs then start to get met. Some Aww. great tips great on tips. a very important subject we could spend a lot of time on. So thanks for being with us. This is my pleasure. Mm -hmm. For more marriage boosting tips, visit Elizabeth Bonet online at FloridaPsychotherapy.com. That's right. And if you'd like to see this segment again, please visit our website. That's TheBalancingAct.com.